Yes, I am filming at night again, and I am filming with my pajamas again, but it has a reindeer, so you cannot actually blame me for wanting to film dressed like this. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katarina and welcome to my channel. And yes, today I am still filming with bad lighting, but that is because on the contrary of a lot of people that actually have winter vacations, I am swamped in work in my um, work that I'm doing for my thesis, in the work that I am doing uh, for, uh, well, how do I explain this? For my internship, yeah, that, that's the word for it, for my internship and everything else. So I'm a little bit swamped, so I only had time to film at night so that tomorrow this video could go up I wish, uh, in perfect condition to you guys and to be the last video of the year that I do. And I'm so, so happy because my channel is going to make uh, a one-year anniversary in January. I believe that it was in January that I started posting videos. So I am really happy about this and I really wanted to say goodbye to 2017 with a video and with you guys. So that's why I decided to talk about some of the books that I want to read next year without uh, just keep pushing them behind. I just want to finish this, I want to read them, and I want to talk about some of the good things that actually happened in 2017. So let's get started, shall we? So in 2017 there is a lot of cool stuff that happened, a lot of good books that I've read and I've talked a lot about them so if you want to go and check my videos, but some of the greatest things that happened were uh, that I got to meet one of my favorite authors uh, and that is Anne Bishop and she is the writer of the Dark Jewels trilogy or Black Jewels trilogy or whatever. Um, and also the Ephemera trilogy, uh, the Pillars of the World trilogy and the other series. Um, and yeah, I haven't read some of those, but I have all of her books and I can read them now and I'm very happy because I have a lot of her books signed right now uh, and that includes my favorite trilogy of all time, which is the Black Jewels trilogy. Um, and yeah, that was a big event. I have never went to a signing event before with a panel with an author, so that was pretty new to me. It was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah. For stuff that has to do with books, I have a little surprise for you more at the end of the video, but that is pretty much all for now. So um, I just wanted to talk about some books that I want to read next year and some other parts of my life uh, that are going on and that I expect to finish some other goals in 2018. So as you guys probably have heard me saying in a lot of videos, I am doing my internship and my thesis at the same time uh, so that I can finish my master's in psychology of deviant behavior and justice. So um, I'm very excited for next year, but I'm also pretty scared because although my internship is going really, really well, um, I am still in the beginning, little beginning of my thesis and I really wanted to present it before the end of the next year, so I really have to start doing strongly on that one, which is kind of a bit difficult because the thesis in itself is a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna try and give my best, so that's what is going on in my professional life uh, currently. I am still trying to finish my master's and I hope it goes well, so by this time next year I should be graduated from university and if I'm not, something really horrible happened in my professional life. So I hope that by this time next year I am telling you guys that I am graduated in my master's in psychology. So stay tuned for that if you want to know in December of next week, ne next week, <laughs> I wish it was that fast, in December of next year. I will probably wrap this up and tell you how it goes if I can't finish it sooner. So that's one of the things. Um, for the stuff that I want to read in 2018, uh, obviously all of the stuff that I received in Christmas, um, and if you don't know, I have two hauls for Christmas, one before Christmas and one after Christmas, and I'll try and remember to leave them linked down below, but if I don't, they are probably the last two, three videos that I filmed and published or uploaded. So you can get to them pretty quickly. I, I'm sorry if I don't remember because tomorrow will be... Well, tomorrow that is today for those of you that are watching this, but it will be a very busy, busy day. So I don't know if I can actually remember to do that, but I will try and do it. Um, so now going to the books that I want to read uh, in the next year. 
I really, really want to finish all of Anne Bishop's books so that I can be ready for when she launches a new book, uh, which probably is supposed to be next year or in the other one, I'm not really sure, but I really want to finish all of those books. Um, what more? What more? I really want to try and read The Lord of the Rings before my uh, 22nd birthday, which is going to be in April, so I really want to read that. That's my gold mark. I really want to read The Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit, The Silmarillion. Well, I really want to read that too, but it can wait a little bit, but I really want to read The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit before I turn 22, because I am a major lover of fantasy, and the fact that I haven't read those books it's kind of bothering me, uh, even so because now I have a channel and I'm supposed to give you recommendations and talk to everybody about books and I haven't read one of the pillars of fantasy, so how on earth can I recommend books to people if I haven't read that and I don't have that knowledge? Uh, so attached to that, I really want to read more classic fantasy and more classics and stuff like that so I can actually improve my way of doing my reviews because I have a way of doing them now but I want to try and change that up a little bit. So for my channel I want to still do reviews, I want to still do some tags but I want to try and do more discussion videos because I think they're interesting if you want to hear me talk about something non-stop um, and I want to spice things up a little bit, just try and have new ideas and change a little bit because it's one year old and you kind of have to change something to in order to just improve your content. Um, but yeah, also what I'm going to try to do for the beginning of next year, I'm really going to try, but I am not really sure if I can do that, but I will upload more about that uh, as I go. I'm really going to try and do a giveaway because I've been promising everyone <laughs> that I was going to do a giveaway to celebrate the fact that I reached the 100 plus subscribers and now I have 165 subscribers so thank you all guys for just watching my content and liking my content and commenting on my videos. That means a lot to me the fact that there are 165 people actually caring about what I'm saying and sharing their love for books. But um, I really have to do this giveaway for all of you that are showing me your support and I have been thinking of some books, uh, some books that probably people don't really have so that it will be interesting for you to participate, but more on that when I actually know when I can do a giveaway because I am so sorry but I have been so busy, but I'm going to try and do it in the beginning of the next year. I'm gonna try, let's just, let's just stay with that, I'm gonna try, okay? Um, so without being that, I'm also gonna try, I'm losing myself today a little bit, that's because I'm a little bit sleepy, sorry. But I'm also gonna try and read um, the Moral Instruments series and the Infernal Devices because I must be the only freaking person in the planet that hasn't read that because I hear everyone talking about that and now I hear the hype for Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows and the other book that I don't remember how it is called. So I really want to read some Cassandra Clare books because I feel stupid because I'm the only one that hasn't read them. And maybe I'm not going to enjoy them as a lot of people do. Or maybe I am, so I really want to discover that. I think they are kind of a bit of a modern fantasy kind of lions, you know, like pillars. So I really want to read them and know what it is that people talk about because I've only seen the movie and the first season of uh, the Mortal Instruments series um, and I got a bit confused and I start hating people that probably I shouldn't hate but I don't know them and the series is not that good, sorry. Uh, at least the season that I watched and I got pretty confused because I watched the movie as well so ah, you know what I mean? So I, I just, I'm just going to read that and then I'll watch the series, it's probably preferable in that way. Um, also what do I want to read more? Oh, I want to finish the Miss Pregnant's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy and I only have to read Library of Souls, uh, so I can't wait for that. I already have the book and I really want to read that. Um, what do I want to read more? Oh, I want to read A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab because I got that book fairly recently and I haven't had the time to pick it up and I know that I'm going to love it when I pick it up. And I got the Portuguese edition which has the US cover on it and it's in Portuguese. And I really want to read that because I, I feel like I'm going to love E. Schwab's writing. Um, I don't know, but I have this feeling. So I know that I'm going to suffer for waiting for the next two books to be published in Portuguese. But that's what you have to deal with when you're a reader. Also, I would really love to read the fifth Outlander book that I have there, down there on that 
small shelf that you can't actually see because it's really dark in this place. Um, and I haven't read that, and I have that uh, since August or July or something like that. But it is so big, and I have zero time to just dedicate myself to such a huge book that I can't take everywhere with me because now I, I read while I commute or while I'm waiting for something because I don't or when I'm in bed because I don't have a lot of time to read in my internship I can't read because um, I am doing my internship in a place where you can't have your phone with you and you can't have uh, books and distractive stuff with you um, so that's that and obviously while I'm working for my thesis I'm not reading I'm reading papers not books. So I really have to have small books that I can carry with me through places and don't just kill my back. So that's why I haven't been reading big books. And why do I want to read more? Well, I'm looking around because I'm trying to see what I need to read. Oh, I really want to finish um, Carlos Ruiz Afon, uh series, which is The Shadow of the Wind, The Game of the Angel, or whatever it is translated, I have no idea. The Prisoner... The Sky Prisoner, or The Prisoner of Sky, I don't know how you translate that. And The Maze of Spirits. I really want to read that. Um, I've read the first two books, but now I have almost completely forgotten everything that I read. Because I started going into other different uh, books, and I have two more books to read by him. And I really want to finish that, so... Yeah, and I want to read more by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, because I started reading Gabriel Garcia Marquez, which was awesome. It was the greatest year for reading that and I love that author so I really have to read more uh, what do I want to read more? I want to read more manga, I want to finish Tokyo Ghoul because <laughs> I haven't finished Tokyo Ghoul and I have all the volumes so there is no excuse I want to read um, Corpse Party I want to read oh, I want to read so many stuff I, just, I want to read so many stuff, I want to read a lot of manga, I want to finish uh, the Girl from the Other Side, which is not really finishing, it's just reading what came out, so that's that. And yeah, that's pretty much what I want to read for the next year. So, as I told you guys, I have a little surprise for you. So, um, you guys probably don't know this because I haven't shared a lot, but uh, one of my dreams is to become a writer. And uh, this year I participated in um, this thing where you send... Um, this Christmas tale to this publisher and that publisher will choose among a lot of tales uh, some, you know, I don't know, 50 or something like that to make part of a book and I got chosen so my tale uh, was a little bit childish but at the same thing it was kind of a metaphor for what Christmas means to me and what are the important things in Christmas. Um, and I'm go not going to reveal anything else um, because maybe my Portuguese viewers, I don't believe that this is going to be translated to other languages because this is an independent publisher that probably will only publish in Portugal. So I'm sorry that you guys don't have access to that book if you want to read it. Um, but it's just this big mashup of a lot of tales from a lot of authors and I'm in it um, with my mom. My mom also got um, in, she got selected, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, well, it does matter, but this is my channel, so I'm gonna do the talking. Um, I got selected to, um, to get in, so I am kind of a published author. I mean, I don't receive money for the copy that are sold, uh, and I had to pay for my own books, and obviously this is not going to make me a famous author or anything like that, and if I want to get published, I am still at ground zero uh, in what comes to making my own books uh, and selling them, but it was a great experience, and I was so, so happy that I got chosen, so I'm just, I'm going to show you the book, uh, and this is the book. In English, it can be translated to Places and Words of Christmas, and this is volume 6. Um, and yeah, it's it's published by... Well, it can be translated to Place of Word Publisher, but in Portuguese is Lugar da Palavra Editora. And um, my name is there. I don't know if you can see it, but... My name is there, and I am very happy to have a printed format of a story that I did, a small story, um, 
so I can celebrate this victory this year. And I hope that for the next year, maybe in November, to do NaNoWriMo, as a lot of you guys do. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, NaNoWriMo is, I believe, uh, national... What? No. Nano national Novel Writing Month, I believe. Uh, and it has this uh, this word counting and everything like that. So maybe in November I'm going to try and actually write a little bit of the book that I have growing on my mind and that I always wanted to publish. So stay tuned for that. Also in November I have videos about me writing. <laughs> I don't know, probably. I don't know. But I just wanted to share this with you guys because I am very happy about this fact. And that is all for today, everyone. I hope that you like this video. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe. And I'm sorry for being such a boring video with almost 17 minutes, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about my goals, my happiness, my achievements, everything books or not books related because you guys are really important to me and I just really want to wish you all to have a very awesome and amazing entry in the new year and to have a beautiful new year and to make your dreams come true in this year because that's what's important and don't stop reading because reading is amazing so that is all for today guys and happy readings to you all bye